All right, everybody, so I want to show you something that's really fun to play with now that you understand what a convolution is and you understand like all the different kinds of filters that you might be able to apply. Um, that thing is called GRIP, um, which was originally developed for the robotics program that our school is part of. Um, we, didn't, we didn't develop it. It was developed by, the, by some professionals. Anyway, you can get it uh, by going to github.com, WPI Robotics Projects slash GRIP. Uh, I'll, I'll paste that in the description. Um, don't download the code the way that you usually do. Go down and read the description here so you can kind of read what it's about. And they say that uh, under getting started, first you should download the newest release. So if you open releases in a new tab, you'll see this. These are all pre-releases. So if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the latest official release. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so here's the latest release, 1.5.2. Um, and if you scroll down, there are several options, and you should select one that's appropriate for your operating system. So for PCs, you probably want this 64-bit executable. Um, for Macs, I believe you want. I believe you want this one. Hopefully, if you have a Mac, you recognize your uh, your archive extension here. Um, anyway, uh, go ahead and download the one appropriate for you. And once it's downloaded, you can go ahead and run the installer. When it's done running, uh, it looks like this. And they have a whole lot of different image processing and feature detection uh, filters, I guess we could call them. Um, most of these rely upon a well-established library called OpenCV. Um, and what you can do is you can select a source. So you could select a webcam or a movie or a still image or whatever you want and then run it through a pipeline. So you can visually build your own pipeline right here. And once you're happy with how it looks, uh, one of the options is to export code either in C++ or in Python that uses the OpenCV library to execute the image pipeline. So if you actually wanted to build uh, like an image processing project, uh, probably you wouldn't want to provide your own implementations of like a convolution filter, for example. Because um, what we wrote was for understanding it, but it's not optimized for speed. Um, and these these ones are. So you would probably want to use your understanding of what these various filters do to help build your pipeline. But then you'd want to output code that runs the external library. Um, and then you can integrate it in whatever project you want. And I'll have some advice about what some fun projects might be. So let me give you a quick illustration. Let's add a source that's a webcam. I'm going to select webcam zero. Um, and your webcam is probably webcam zero as well. And if you click the little uh, eye icon, ah, there I am. Um, so let's go ahead and add, oh, I don't know, let's uh, find, let's find lines. That could be interesting. Oops, I've been clicking it more than once. So here's what you do to set up your pipeline. Where it says image, click on the little radio button, click and drag across, and then you can let go where it says image here. So that sends the output here to the input there. And then if you want to see what it looks like, click on its little one. Okay, so we're finding zero contours here. Did I do contours? Sorry, I wanted lines. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, let's try this again. Okay. <clears throat> ah, there we go. Ah, it's really seeing the lines in my shirt. Cool. I like it. So let's say I wanted to isolate this green juggling ball. Um, let's do a red, green, blue threshold. I'll drag across here. So this is like the color masking filter that we made. Um, oh, let's view the output. What if it's only... Okay, so I just played around here for a couple of minutes. So you can see I've got a red, green, blue threshold where I tried to isolate the green of the ball. I you know, there's there's a, a gradient of greens across this ball, so I'm only getting some of them. Um, if I wanted to, I could try and open the gradient a little bit. Let's see what I get. See, because the problem is I don't want to get me in there. Well, anyway, let's let's stop fiddling. So you see, I I'm thresholding the green of the ball. Then I'm running a find contours, and what find contours is doing is it's trying to identify kind of the lines of the shapes. 
Um, then I'm running filter contours where I'm trying to exclude contours that have an area that's too small. So I say you have to have an area above 181 pixels. So now I've just got the big contour. And then I run convex hull, which tries to find uh, like the convex shape that, the smallest convex shape that fits around this contour. Um, and so you see like that's not, it's not so bad given my original mask. Like yeah, it's not a circle, but it also took me about four minutes to set this up. Um, so there's a lot of fun things that you can play around with here, and I just wanted to show you this tool. Um, if you know Python, you can of course export, or C++, you can of course export this code um, and try and run it in other contexts. Okay, have fun.